Friends, welcome to Stephen's channel. Last week, we introduced the IEC 61850 fundamental knowledges. And this week, I will talk about the IEC 61850 testing. Uh, as before we start the lessons, let's review the last lessons. In the last lessons, we introduced the three level of the smart substation architecture. Here we can see it's the three level of a digital substation. This is a station level. And this is the bay level. And then this is the process level. In each of the level, we have many devices. For example, in the process level, we got the many primary devices. In the bay level, we got many IEDs. For example, maybe this is a relay protection, and this maybe a measurement unit and this uh, intelligent uh, box and this maybe a monitoring unit and so on and in the station level we got the gps is the uh, time for all the for the whole station yeah and we got the station a station b and maybe the remote station and so on in this level, if we do uh, IEC 61850 testing, that means we need to test all these devices in the three level of a substation. So, the first, we talk about the testing object so the test object include the device in process level ECT EPT and uh, MU melting unit and the switch and the IEDs maybe the relay protection and uh, maybe the measurement and uh, monitoring devices and uh, we can see the GPS that, that means the time synchronization device Time synchronization device, and uh, and the last one is the most important one. That is the SCL file. Why the SCL file is so important? Because the SCL file 
include all the information of a smart substation. If you change the any device or any not connection of this of this device, that means you change the SCL file. So the SCL file must change accordingly accord the actual actual device change. Yeah. And uh, the other things is the SCL file is the uh, XML file. So it is hard for engineer to read the file. So we also need some method and uh, some device to help us to read the file and make the file is easily for the engineer to to read to to analyze yes okay there are so many devices needed to be tested and the next is the reason the testing reason why we must to test all the device for example the ECT and the EPT yes is the primary device and it is also very important device why we need to test and why we need a um, test to to make a test standard for the substation yeah for the IEC 61850 test for example the ECT and the EPT this this smart primary device is used to sampling the actual voltage and the current value and uh, this send this value change the value into uh, from analog value into the digital value and send the value to the MU device so can you imagine if this device has a mistake or a failure it sample it sample a value for example 10 volt or 10 amp but it give out the result is not the same maybe it get, gave a 20 amp to the IEDs so the IED will get a wrong value and it will cause a run action so the substation totally ruined by this device so it's very important to see if the device has enough accuracy and enough the time critical and so on the another very important important device is the MU the matching unit the matching unit is the device it receives the digital signal from the ECT and EPT and uh, they made this digital signal into a standard SMB message and uh, it also use the GPS use the GPS signal to give the time stamp yeah the important GPS signal that it get um, absolute 10 and use the 10 to stamp each 
the best movie. And it send the SMV messages to these IEDs. Yes. Some of the message maybe is uh, is uh, value of the voltage and the primary voltage, primary current, and some of this message, SMV message maybe some um, monitoring value. For example, the the temperature of the oil in the uh, in the tank and uh, uh, in the transformer or some other informations. So we send this information to the monitoring unit and to the um, metering unit. Maybe some of the, the metering function. Yes. And so the MU is very important. If this SMV, if this SMV file is not correct, it may it will cause all these IEDs have the wrong wrong result. Yeah. And another, if there is a delay, time delay of the SMV file, so. It will cause the IED receive a maybe very important message with a delay. So it will cause maybe the protection um, relay protection get a wrong operate. Yeah, maybe the, in this time we sh we need the relay ac action. We need the relay chip. But in this time, we didn't trip. Okay. And uh, the another device is a switch. The switch is also very important. You know, in the substation, the switch is the is just maybe the data center because all this message from the MU. Or may uh, or the goose from the IEDs, uh, all this information needed to through the switch. So the switch is very important. If the switch with a ten delay or with a um, uh, network storm uh, with a Lost, um, lost message, and uh, with a uh, wrong sequence, with a uh, abnormal sequence, it will cause all this system failed. So this device is a very is also a critical device. But in China, we know China has a two grid. Why is the we call the national national grid? And another is the South grid. The two different grid and. Uh, Use uh, the two different uh, um, network uh, network. Uh, yeah, for example, the national grid, um, they not use the grouping network. It use the point to point. Yeah, they use the they use the MU. The, the optic fiber from the MU to and connect directly directly to the IEDs, and uh, if not uh, use the switch, so so in the national grid, um, the switch is not necessary to be test, and uh, in South grid, South grid use the uh, grouping network, so. 
the user switch. So in a South Grid switch is a uh, is the device that must under test. And in worldwide, we use the group and network, so we need to test the switch. And uh, the others is the the IEDs. It very it also very important. Okay. The test reason there are three. Firstly, there has uh, there are three. Test. The first is we call the conformity. Test. Conformity testing. This this testing is defined in the IEC. 61850-10 the 10 part of this uh, standard that uh, means the all these devices must uh, based on the IEC 61850 standard and uh, this testing is not uh, due by the or uh, traditional manufacturer or the uh, or the testing solution provider. This te this testing is the test by the by some institution or some organization that um, authorized yeah authorized the institute. This authorized the institute to test all these devices from different manufacturers to prove that all these devices are can uh, obey the IEC 61850 standard. So it is a base. It's a base for our the other test. Second, second is the performance test. Performance testing. This testing that means we test the device performance to see if it meets the IEC six one eight fifty standard. Yes, and the another is to test the network, the network performance performance. Mm, that that means the. The delay of the uh, the network and uh, the, the other the other the other performance. So it includes the first the device performance. And uh, the network performance. The two, the two part. Okay. The next is the function. Functional testing. Functional testing. This is include the F A T. That means the factory acceptance test and uh, S A T. This means the site acceptance test and. Uh, the routing test 
looking test. Yeah. Okay. Next, I will um, introduce the some of the important device. How to test the some of the important device. The next, I will uh, introduce how to the test the MU the MU device. Okay. Three. Testing. Method. Test method. The first, I will introduce the MU, the mounting unit. Okay, we don't need this now. As I said, right now, MU is a very important device. It will uh, determine uh, the whole performance of a sub, uh, smart substation and um, what the device of MU here we can see here is the MU this device is used to um, uh, convert the digital value into the standard SMV message and send the message to the IEDs so the matching unit has several functions the first is convert the analog signal yeah, analog vo um, voltage value, current value into digital value. And then the second is convert the digital value into the standard SMV message. The third is made the uh, give each of the SMV message a uh, 10 stamp. Third, uh, fourth, it, in order to give this 10 step, it must to synchronize to the uh, GPS or other absolute, absolutely time source. So, if you want to test so, such a device, we need a Tester. We need a tester, a special, or, or, or we just we can say a special um, device. Yeah, this device can test the MU because we need this device can output the analog signal that the MU received. And uh, this test uh, need to receive and uh, analyze the SMV message from the MU. So, and, and another important feature is the test can synchronize with the MU device. So, firstly, the two devices synchronized. Time sync synchronized and uh, so it will have the ten the same ten source and uh, then the test will send a uh, analog signal to the MU. For example, the voltage or the current, and then when the MU receives the analog signal, and it immediately 
give a SMV to the test. So the first we uh, the first feature we need to test is the MU consistency. and uh, integrity the MU consistency and the integrity that means the test uh, send the analog signal to the MU and the MU give the SMV file SMV message and the SMV message the, the content of the SMV message must be the same with the analog signal because, because this unit is just a converter so the converter need to convert the, the A to B but not to uh, change the, the content yes, the, the, the must uh, the same with the, uh, the the content and the information of the SMV must be the same with the analog. So this is our method to test the consistency and the integrity. Second is MU delay. As we said right now, if the MU has a time delay, it will affect the performance of the whole smart substation. So we need to test each device of the different manufacturers how the time delay it is. So for this test, we also need a tester this tester and we send the analog signal to the MU and also we save the SMV but the another another thing is we record the time that the analog signal send out from the test here for example the this x is time this analog signal may be a voltage or maybe a current but in whatever the lost the point. The point is here we send the signal a sine wave and we send the signal and only in this time in the zero point we send out the signal only in this point we send out the signal and we record this time this time here we record by our test and name the time T1 and uh, when the MU received the analog and it will convert and uh, um, package the to a SMV message and send back. When our test received the SMV message, we record this time immediately. For example, here in this point, we received the message. We received the SMV message here this time, and this time we call T2. 
So we can calculate the delay. So the delay of the of the MU we call the delta T equals to the T2 minus T1. So we can get to the delay of the MU. The next okay we don't need this now. The next is MU time coordinate and uh, the time synchronization. The time coordinate and the time synchronization. What's the the meaning? What's the meaning of this? That means um, when it disconnect from the time source and reconnect to the time source, the MU will need a time to coordinate its uh, itself time to the time source. So there has a time coordination here we need to test the time coordination and uh, the time synchronization how how we test for example we can see also this diagram here we got the time sync and uh, we can for example we get one minute to disconnect this time source so our MU will uh, keep it on clock and uh, a minute later I just uh, reconnect just uh, reconnect this this time source to the MU and the MU will coordinate itself gradually to the to the time source. So when the MU, for example, this is time. When the MU disconnect uh, disconnect to the time source, it will has the. itself the time itself time and uh, we uh, our our time source is also has uh, it also has a It also has a time. When it reconnect to the time source, we give each minute, uh, each second, one second, each one second, the 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 comparison of the each 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 of the rise. For example, it is the time source. And uh, maybe this one is the MU. 
So, is T1 is T2. It's the, the delta T equals to T2 minus T1. This delta T is the time coordinate. Time coordination. Okay. That's all for these lessons. Next lessons, I will introduce the goods and uh, SMV test. So that's all about this IEC 61815 test in part one. Next, I will introduce the goods and the SMV test. That's part two of the 61850 testing. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for your attention. Bye bye.